Here's a turbo that I'm working on. I'll show you a little bit about what I had to use to kind of fix this. The guy sent in a turbo, but a lot of the parts don't match. He had two different turbos and he's trying to make one. This compressor outling is an APS compressor outling. This one's the SR56. The issue that I'm dealing with here, why I've got to spend so much time to fix it, is this inlet is only, you know, it's so small, but the wheel we're trying to use is bigger than this inlet, which was also bigger than the one that he provided. I can't machine this out without having to press a pipe in it to oversize it so that I have something to grab to machine it because the wheel is bigger than the inlet. Another issue was that he did not provide a plate to fix this, so I made one and I made a little video on how to do that. The plate used for this one is a TO4B. He included a TO4E, so I made this plate out of a TO4S plate. Yeah, the TO4S and TO4B don't have an O-ring groove, so I just machined this one for an O-ring groove. That way he doesn't have to worry about this compressor outing not sealing correctly. The way I'm gonna fix this is I'm first gonna machine this off, and then I'm gonna machine this even deeper but before I start, I need to take a measurement from here to here, which is approximately two, two inches, because when I go to put the inlet back in there, I wanna make sure that the distance is correct to work correctly with this intake. The reason I'm machining it down farther is because this casting is tapered and it's thicker at the bottom. First step is to machine that off. Second step is once I have a machined diameter inside of this, then I'm gonna take this piece of stock and machine it down to a press fit to press inside here. This is, I think, a three inch stock. And that will allow us to do the machining on the compressor outling to machine it for a larger wheel. It's really important to press on the base of this compressor housing rather than this area because if you press here then it can warp the housing really easily. So the way I have this 
this up. Design. I'm just going to go ahead and take this off. I got a plate back here. I'm going to press against this area. That's all for this video. I'm going to have to do a part two on this. So far I machined this plate to fit on this compressor housing and then we machined the compressor housing and a pipe to sleeve into the compressor housing. So far it's looking good.